Hey guys, Lethal Leslie here, and today we're going to be hunting down every dinosaur bone in Red Dead Redemption 2, so let's get into it. So to start this mission off, you're going to want to go down by Flax Station all the way down here to activate the mission. There'll be a lady here dusting some bones. You want to talk to her and she will activate the mission. It's not necessary though, you can go ahead and collect the bones first, so it's totally up to you whether you want to do that or not. Now the next thing we want to do is I'm going to show you the first 12 here. Actually, in fact, it's the first 13 because I am actually on one myself. And then, then there are 12 other pointers. So what you can do is you can go ahead and tag me as one of them. And then you have 13 others. So you can go and put all them down right now if you want to. And they will be done for you. I'm just going to put up another few screenshots now of the other pinpoints of all these. So that you can go ahead and... And pinpoint them if you want and then obviously you don't need to see the actual locations you can just pin them on the map and go there and then we'll be getting into each individual one after that so here's the second lot and here are the final few guys so they're all the bones locations and now let's get into the first one for today so the first one is going to be up in the top right corner here and yeah it's just above Ainsburg Let's go and have a look at the actual location. And this is the bone in game. This is what you're looking for. We're now at location number two. It, the best reference for this one is the R in New Hanover. And you can see it's just one over here. Zoom right in for you. Zoom right out. And yeah, it's by Van Horn and, and the R in New Hanover. Let me show you what it looks like in game. Another very important tip that I'm going to do on this one is you want to go into the dead eye mode. The um, hunter mode or whatever you want to call it. And you're going to have clues on these as well. Which is going to help you a hell of a lot finding them. So make sure you're using that. That's number two. Let's move on to number three. This next one is a little bit tricky. It's above the E in New Hanover. And also by this pond here. But you need to come from this direction. From the left. Because you won't be able to get here from the right. Obviously this is a river and a cliff. So you want to come from the left. Let me show you how it looks in game. Let me look behind so you can see where I've come from. All the way up there is where I've come from. I've climbed down and here is the bone here. Let's inspect and move on to the next one. Next up, we're right along the train track in line with the O of Amberino. And yeah, so this is where we're located for this one. Let me show you where it is in game. And this time it is up on a mountain. So you will probably be down there. Again, use your eagle eye to notice these. It'll make it a lot easier for you. Let's move on to the next one. Location number four is just above the Owen Amberino, and it's right at the top of this hill here. So let me show you where this one is in game. This one's just a couple of bones on the floor at the top of this hill. Let's inspect and move on to the next one. Bone number six is right below the eye in Amberino, as you can see here. And as for in game, you can see it's just over there behind these rocks. So I'm going to head over now, inspect, and move on to the next one. The next location is right at the S on Backness Station. You can't miss it. It's literally touching the S almost. Uh, it's quite high up. You've got to do a bit of climbing again to get up here. A lot of these are in hard to reach places. But that's number seven. Let's move on to number eight. Location number eight is right across the water from Fort Wallace. As you can see, it's up the cliff. So you need to come around the back here. There's no point coming this side because you won't be able to get it. So you need to go around the back right to the end here. And just off the cliff. Let me show you where it is in game. As you can see it's on the edge of a cliff. And you can. There is a little ditch here. But I am going to show you just in case you do slip down. If you don't land properly on here. You can easily slip down and be off. I'm not going to lie. I, I was very close myself to be honest. Um, let's inspect this one and get on to number 9. The ninth bone is located under the sea in Cumberland guys. And it's another one that's on a cliff. So if you're coming from this side ideal. If you're coming from this side obviously you're going to have to go round. It, that tag don't take it it's actually where i am here it's not on the tag it's on me so let me go and show you where this one is on in game now so you can see it's right on the edge of the cliff i don't know why all these bones are on edge, edges of cliffs you'd imagine they'd be underground but that's not the way it's working let's get on to the 10th bone the 10th bone is located above valentine along the dakota river this is the 11th bone here so there are actually two bones very close to each other that'll be the next bone up but the 10th one, as you can see, is right here where we zoom in. So let me show you what it looks like in-game. And it is just a little claw or hand or whatever it is on the wall. Let's inspect and get on to 11. The 11th bone is above Valentine, as we've just said, basically. So you can't really miss it. If you're in Valentine, go north of Valentine and you're going to find this one. Make sure you come from the Valentine area as well because it is a mountain that it's up, as most of these bones are. And this is what it looks like in-game. Let's get on to number 12. Next up is number 12, and it's on top of this mountain here by the word east, right by the S. 
and you want to come up from the back end this way you want to work your way up all these mountains and to here let me show you where this one is in game because this is a toughy as you can see here we are today we've got it on top of this mountain one of the most ridiculous poems of the lot so go ahead and inspect that as i've already done and i'm going to just get down now so you can kind of maybe figure out the way i kind of got up here as well it's like a very very little path all the way up get down with a bit of class and yeah so you know you've got to kind of scrap your way up here it's not easy to get up here and that is bone number 12 let's move on to number 13 a little bit of an easier one now for number 13 and it's right above the o in hanover so let's go ahead and have a look at this one in game and it's quite big on the floor as well so that is number 13 let's move on to 14 Next up, we have number 14, which is just inside Limon, by the L in Limon, and by Dewberry Creek is where we need to go. Exactly on me, guys, so tag right on me. It's just on the border there, and let's go ahead and have a look at the in-game location, and here it is. It's actually a skeleton in the floor, so you can see it's just up by the water. Let's get this one inspected and move on to the next one. Number 15 is up next, and it's just a stone's throw away from number 14. It's right under the L in Limon, so you really can't miss this one. If you go there and use your sensor, you're going to see it straight away. Your hunting sensor, you're going to see the clue. Go and inspect, and we'll move on to number 16. Next up is number 16, and it's right at the bottom of New Hanover along this train track here. So go ahead and tag along the train track by this curve, and you're going to be able to see it as long as you use your dead eye. Let's have a look at it in-game. And this is what it looks like in game. It's the third rib cage in a row. My dead eye is actually a little bit dead there. We'll boost that up and move on to number 17. This one's directly under the W in the word new from New Hanover. So if you're struggling to find it, line it up with the word W and it should help out a lot. This is not it, by the way. This is another one again. It's here in a little ditch. So just head towards this area right here and you should be able to find it. No problem. Let me show you what it looks like in game before we move on to number 18, I believe. There you go, it's just a bone in the floor, let's move on. Number 18 can be found right in between the A and the R in the word the heartland. So that's what you want to look for. And then there's this little oil thing here as well. So you shouldn't have any trouble finding this one. Once you come to the area and you see the oil thing, you'll be able to find it very easily. Here it is, you see, and right underneath it, if you just go down the ladder, you're going to find yourself the next dinosaur bone. <laughs> Not just dinosaur, there's nothing alive down here. On this occasion, it's actually not here for me, and that is because I've all, this was one I'd already claimed beforehand. But I promise you guys, if you come here, it will be down here. Let's get on to number 19. Number 19's up next, and for this one, you want to come to Dakota River. And as you can see here, I'm on this second little loop from the bottom, and we're right in this area here. So let's go and have a look in-game, and it's just a little arm or something of a dinosaur back in the day on this wall so we're going to inspect this one and move on to number 20. Number 20 is up next and it's actually in West Elizabeth and it's right inside a cave based on me right here so you want to come here first and then you want to look for the cave where I am basically not where the tag is and uh, when you get in here I'm going to pull my lantern probably the best option I haven't been in here yet so I'm coming in here now and I'm hoping it's going to be relatively easy to find why am I couching get up please it won't let me get up but you're going to find the bone right on here. It doesn't even give you an option for a clue. So go ahead and inspect it. And let's move on to 21. Bone number 21 is right between the W and the E in West. So let's zoom in on that now. And you can see exactly where we are. And it's right across this track here. So you won't be able to miss it. If you pinpoint here, it should take you straight to it. Let me go and show you it in game. And it looks like some sort of backbone. So I'm going to go inspect that now. And we'll move on to bone 22. Here's bone location number 22 for you guys. If I zoom right in here, you can see it's actually on top of a mountain. Let me go and don't, don't take notice of this marker here. That's old now. Let me go and show you where it is in game. And yeah, here it is on the floor. So I'm going to go and inspect and have a look at that beautiful view as we go on to the next bone. The last eight of these are now in New Austin. So you cannot get your hands on these until after chapter six. Something definitely worth bearing in mind. With that being said, let's get into this one, which is number 23, I believe, and it is located right at the start of New Austin in these little um, canyons, I would say. So they're actually in the canyons. They're not above on this case. Um, let me show you where it is in game. It's uh, just in the ground here. So we're going to inspect this one and move on to number 24. 
Number 24 is up next, and as you can see, it's right by the San Luis River here. You want to look for this little island here as a little bit of an indicator and zoom in and just tag some around here, and you'll be able to find it when you get down here. As for in-game, as you can see, it's a little bone just on the floor like that as well. And yeah, it should be relatively easy for you to find. Let's move on to the next one. Dinosaur Bones number 25 is right here at Rio del Lobo Rock. I'm not sure if you can come from this end down here, but I kind of think you can make your way up from this end. I, t I ended up going around the other way anyway. And let me show you where these ones are in game. This is what they look like. Very easy to spot out in the open. So if you use your dead eye, you'll be able to, not dead eye, your hawk eye, I guess you'd call it. You'll be able to spot them straight away. Let's get on to number 26. Number 26 is located right on the B of Rio Bravo. It's really easy to find this one because it's a, a mountain. And if you go up the mountain, it's right around the edges here. You come over to this area here and you'll be able to see it straight away. And what it looks like is a bunch of horns popping out of the ground. So let's inspect this one and move on to number 27. Number 27 is based between the A and the U in Austin. So let me zoom in. It's, it's almost right dead in the center and it's also at the top of all the rings. So just come right to the top and you're going to be able to find this one no problem. Let me show you what it looks like. It is kind of disguised a little bit in the grass, but should be easy enough to find using the Hawkeye. Let's inspect and move on to the next one. Number 28 is right at the top of New Austin. You can't go any further than this and you're going to find it right above the S, I would say. If you keep moving forward above the S, you're going to find this one no problem on the wall. Let me show you what it looks like in game. It's a arm or leg of sort on the wall here and yep yeah, that's number 28 let's move into the last two the 29th bone is located between the d and the g in the word ridge you are going to have to come up from this side here look at this side right here is the way that you get up then you run with your horse to this area the rest of it is quite mountained off so that i think from what i can see on the map is your only way in here so make sure you come in there and this one's pretty easy when you get there this is what it looks like in game very open space not going to have any trouble finding it once you get up here. So that's number 29. Let's move on to the last one. And the last bone in the collection is under the word tumbleweed. Directly under the L. Very hard to miss as well. So come up here and you're going to find this one no problem. On the edge of the cliff. There you see tumbleweed. The last one we need. Lovely jubbly. That is all the dinosaur bones for you guys there. Now what you want to do is you want to take them and mail them to the Dinosaur Bone Lady. Wait 24 hours and collect your reward and that will be you done with this particular mission guys. I'm going to leave that one there anyway. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks for watching as always and take it easy.